Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. So we can start. Praise God. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day that you have given us to study your word. Lord, you teach us. You help us to understand the secrets and the mysteries of your kingdom. Lord, you reveal to us the word. You reveal to us the truth from your word, Lord, that we may not only understand this truth, but we can also apply the same truth in our day-to-day -day life. Lord, you continue to teach us. You continue to guide us. It is you who is leading us. And Lord, we give ourselves to you. We give ourselves to your word. And Lord, we want your plan, your purpose to be fulfilled in our life. Thank you and praise you and glorify Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray about Father. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. So we will continue from yesterday. Yesterday we were saying about focus, how to focus on God's word and how to focus on the things that are contradicting to the word of God, how our focus is needed. And there was a question yesterday by Gianna. Okay. And she had asked, can focus be activated? Now, uh, throughout the whole day, I was thinking deeper on that. And the Holy Spirit was keep on reminding me new, new things of that. So, when you see focus needs to be activated, I said, yes. What I mean by that is, I have to put my diligence deliberately and purposely to study the word. To keep my focus on the word. Because, because to focus on the word is a choice. God is not forcing us. God is not you know, telling us you have to do it. But God has given us a freedom of choice. Whether we want to focus on his word or we want to focus contradicting to his word. It's our choice. Praise God. Now, we saw focus is a deliberate and purpose, choice that each one of us have to make. If I'm not going to focus on the word, I'm not going to study the word, then now I'm no longer going to meditate. Because we saw yesterday, focus is simply meditating on the word of God. And what is meditation? Meditation is simply keeping your attention on to something, on a point, on to a point that that never leaves your consciousness. It's so strong in your mind that now it can never leave your mind. In other words, meditation is reminding by the Holy Spirit because, because the Holy Spirit is who reminds us of everything we have learned. So if we are going to study the word, who's going to remind us? The Holy Spirit. Who's going to lead us? The Holy Spirit. Who's going to guide us? The Holy Spirit. But many a times, we are focused on things contradicting to the word of God. We meditate on things contradicting to the word. Now that is so, 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 so strong in our mind that now it will never leave our consciousness. And yesterday we saw focus leads to faith and focus leads to fear. Yes? Yeah. Now, the people of this world, they are focusing on virus. What is happening? Meditating. They deliberately, purposely make a choice to focus on things contradicting to the word. Last of all, they are saying, this is not happening, that is not happening. Right? Yeah? It's increasing. The sickness is increasing. God is not doing you know, all these years, no one remembered God. Everyone rebelled God. 
Everyone rejected God. But soon when the virus came, now if you see everywhere there are messages, okay, that are coming about Psalm 91, God's word. Why suddenly? Why suddenly? All these years, people did not remember God. Suddenly, people start remembering God. Why? Because all these years, their focus was not on God, on the worldly things. And now when, they, when their focus is on the worldly things, they came to see that there is a virus. And now they started to focus on God as the only help. Because people are dying. There are so many people in this world who are dying of the sickness, who are getting affected of the sickness, have no air, no oxygen to breathe. Now they are all in fear. And now since they're in fear, they're trying to get hold of God. That's why my focus my focus if it's on the things of this world now my harvest my result will not be godly because wherever my focus is if i'm going to focus on god's word day and night day and night day and night now i will be able to see the consequences coming from the word I means the result coming from the word what is that if I, because that's what the word of God says, speak the word of God, meditate the word of God. Only when I do those three, th those two things, the third one will come to pass. The third one will come to pass. What are the two things? Okay. The first one is, the first one is, speak. The word of God day and night. The second one is meditate the word of God day and night. And the third one is apply the word. If I'm not going to meditate the word and speak the word, now I'll not be able to apply the word. So the application comes only when I'm going to speak the word and I'm going to meditate on the word. When I'm meditating on the word, I'm speaking the word. Now that's what is helping me to apply this word into my life. Praise God. Many people only run after the prosperity and run after the success, but they don't want to keep the focus on God's word. That meditation on God's word is the focus on God's word. Study God's word. Meditate God's word. In Joshua 1, can you put that? Joshua on it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Okay, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. So many people, they are only focused on that last word, I want to make my way prosperous and I want to have good success. But no one, no one is ready to do the first three things. Right? No one is ready to speak the word. No one is ready to meditate the word. And they run after prosperity, run after the success, which is the worldly prosperity, worldly success, which lasts only for a moment, for a time. But God's prosperity can only be experienced when I do these three things, when I speak the word, meditate the word, and then I do those two things, apply the word, then I will experience God kind of prosperity and God kind of success. Praise God. Now, hallelujah. 
focus focus leads to my mind focus means my mind hooked on to something focus means my mind hooked on to something you can write it down focus means my mind hooked on to something that now let now i am only and only and only focusing on that subject nothing else i am only keeping my attention on that subject nothing else i am keeping my attention on that thing nothing else press god that is focus if i am not going to focus on the word of god now i can never expect for manifestation because because what you know we see joy right joy is knowing the end result in other words that knowledge over there is focusing focusing on the end result i don't have any physical evidence i can't understand i don't have any physical i can't see it i can't hear it i can't smell it i can't taste it i can't touch it i don't have any physical evidence but i only have one evidence that is the spiritual evidence that is called joy do you remember joy is knowing the end result in the beginning focusing on the end result keeping my attention keeping my focus keeping my uh, mind on the end result not on the physical surrounding see jesus was jesus focused on the cross how many of you believe that how many of you believe that jesus was looking at the cross jesus was looking at the cross no one no one believes that jesus was looking at the cross then what was he doing if jesus was not looking at the cross what was he doing okay jesus was not looking at the cross he, he was looking through the cross he, he was i'll repeat that again he was not looking at the cross but he was looking through the cross now through the cross he was looking at each one of us being saved because he had every right to call his angels to show his power in front of those people but he did not do it that why because the bible says he embraced the cross with joy he was looking through the cross that you and i are saved if jesus was looking at the cross that means he will be looking at the punishment and then he will show them his power he will show them you think you can insult me i will show you my power i will show you my authority i will show you my you know my superior power did he do that no why why because he was looking at you and i being saved he was looking at you and i receiving salvation he was looking at you and i being saved being transformed receiving salvation and now we are experiencing the righteousness of god we are declared made before god the righteousness of god in christ jesus that's why jesus was not looking at the cross he was looking through the cross that you and i are saved praise god hallelujah thank you jesus did you understand yes yeah praise god okay thank you jesus praise you jesus praise god okay can you put that joshua one it hallelujah praise god thank you jesus praise god hallelujah hallelujah that's why focus is very very important that's why this scripture is speaking about focus meditation See this, but thou shall meditate therein day and night, day and night. 
focus on this bird what day and night maybe one day two day it might not be easy it will not be easy on the first day if a person is newly in the world it will not be easy for that person i it will not easy for me i will not focusing on the word day and night i had hundred other things all around me not only the word the word is one of one of the hundred things it was like that in the very beginning because in the very beginning i would not listen to the word my mom would put it on the screen tv screen and keep it on at that time i had to do my studies i had to play with my sister so what was more important i had other other things to do right yeah that was one part but today the word of god is the main part all those other hundred things comes all second the word of god is the first part the main one that's what you mean by meditate therein meditate on it day and night it may not be easy on the first day you might be saying if i am going to focus on the word who will worry about everything else who will think about everything else yes yeah but but it may look like who will think about all those other things you don't have to worry if you are going to meditate on the word of god meditate therein day and night surely surely you will be able to see manifestation that's why focus leads to you know focus is focus means to keep my attention on the word of god to keep my focus on the word of god to the point that it never leaves my consciousness praise god now when you say focus many people many people can understand wrong focus on the blessing instead of the blesser how many times focus on the creation not on the creator focus on the blessing not on the blesser how many times how many times we have come to god take the blessing and go back right yes but but if my focus is not going to be on the blesser how much i can build up a relationship with him how much i can focus on him how i can understand his nature how i can understand his character then now i will be living under the bondage that i have to come to god come to that person pray over me pray for me nicely and then go back i'll be under that bondage right because many times it happens with sickness i want healing take the healing go back that's called focusing on blessing not on the blesser those who are focused on the blessing not on the blesser are always going to experience destruction because one day it might work two day it might work but it will not work always the devil will surely come he will deceive you he will cheat you and he will take all what god has promised then what will happen i'll be waiting when the preacher will come and pray for me yeah Let's I'll give this example A and B. B goes to the preaching of the gospel for the very first time. He is, does not know the word. He goes. He's born again. He receives his healing. Comes back home. He did not listen to the word. You know that's why a person might only come for the word of God for twelve months, one year. But a person may come for twelve years. The twelve years person is saying, "I know all this. Just waiting for the healing." whereas the one year person is i want to know more i want to learn more i am not saying a per- you should not focus on healing no no god will is to heal do do healing but don't focus on the fruit focus on the root of that healing where does the healing come from the word of god that is the root right that's why many people are deceived they focus on the fruit instead of focusing on the root correct we have all come from there hallelujah i understand that's what we saw yesterday abraham where was his focus where was his focus on the word of god if you see noah noah he was building 
the ark building and building and building it has to be very big god had told him because he has to go every every single land creature you know the creatures in the air and the creatures in the water have to go every single creature not one miss and they have to go two by two so every day he's going he's building because it has to be very big to fit all those animals inside he's building and he's building and he's building building and he's building and he's building okay and his whole family also has to fit in there with the animals so he's building and building yet it has to be very big so it will take him lot and lot and lot of time and that time they will not have anything like uh, technology machines they have to do everything from scratch from hands yes that's the only equipment legs and hands that's all nothing else so he's building and he's building and building okay and that time they had to create the equipment okay and they're building he's building now what will happen to all those around him you're building you're building you're building the ark is not coming why are you building that ark why are you building that bo big boat why you want it people must be laughing and that time the sin was very very high so they must be all laughing and thinking and kicking him around saying what are you building all the time right because the sin was more than even more than it is today the sin was at an extreme extreme now did no one care what the people were saying what the people were doing how they were insulting how they were accusing was that his focus was he focus on how they are insulting him laughing at him teasing him no what was he focused on what was he focused on making the ark building the ark no no that comes second i'll i'll give that half mark god's promise god's commandment yeah he is focused on the word of god why because god had told him to build this ark it was god's commandment absolutely he was focusing on god's commandment he was focusing on god's word not on to build the ark he was focused on what god had said if god has told me to build then why do i have to listen to these foolish people why do i have to listen to these sinful people i can listen to the holy god right the living god who has told me to do this someone is saying maybe all people are laughing surely they are laughing praise god it's not written in the bible but that's what happens today and at that time the sin is increased a lot more than it is today so surely they will be laughing people must be talking behind his back right what does that mean gossiping he is building he is like just a foolish he has no thinking but who's foolish in the sight of god these people because god had already told him there will be a flood these people don't know there will be a flood right yes that's why noah was wise in the sight of god he was righteous in the sight of god are you understanding yes yeah and that's where that's where even today i'm supposed to build my life on the word of god yes i have my own vision yes i have my own dream but i am going to focus i am going to meditate on god what god has promised me because i know whatever god has promised me will never go it will never fail because god has always kept his word he will never violate his word praise god i'm understanding Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Anyone has any doubts, any questions, anything they would like to ask? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Anyone? No. Praise God. Okay, so we can close today's session. 
We will close with the prayer. Does anyone want to do the ending prayer? Anyone? Owen, Jehaya, Jaden, Kristen, Sean, Enoch. Uh, Alistair, can I tell something? Yeah. Uh, is it the same time class tomorrow? Yes, yes. It is Monday to Friday, same classes. If there is like anything holiday, we will inform on the group and all. But otherwise, it's normal, same, same timing. Okay, thank you. I would like to do. I would like to do next classes uh, ending prayer. Okay, okay. Praise God. Yeah. Okay. No one wants to do today. No one. Praise God. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day that you have given us to study your word. Lord, you teach us. You help us to understand the secrets and the mysteries of your kingdom. Lord, thank you, Lord, for revealing us to us this word, revealing us this truth. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for teaching us. Lord, as we have learned this word, help us, Lord, to apply this word in our life in our day-to-day -day life, that we may be able to live a supernatural life, focusing, keeping our attention, keeping our meditation hooked onto your word. Thank you and praise you and glorify, Lord, for this blessing, this opportunity. And Lord, everyone who's going to watch this in the future on YouTube, they are blessed, they are anointed, and they can also keep their focus on you. Be consistent. Because, Lord, your word says consistency is the key for all breakthrough, Lord. Thank you and praise you and glorify, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray about Father. Amen. 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 Praise God. Okay, yes, we can pray in tongues.